everyone. It's me, Mr. Tom of the Home Video Variety Show. Are you ready to go live again? All right. I'm glad you're with us. Maybe you're in Washington. Maybe you're here in Florida. Maybe you're in, uh, I don't know, Vermont. Maybe you're in New Mexico. Maybe you're in Texas. But here you are. We are all together. Let's start out by singing a song. We did this one last week. It's our liquid equivalents. Here we go, like this. Eight fluid ounces equals one cup, and two cups equals one pint, and two pints equals one quart, and four quarts equals one gallon. Eight fluid ounces equals one cup, and two cups equals one pint, and two pints equals one quart, and four quarts equals one gallon. Right, nice job. You remember that song? There's a lot of songs that we sing here on this show. Many, many of them that you have to learn. So welcome again. If you are just joining us, it's me, Mr. Tom of the Home Video Variety Show. Now, I do have some friends that will be joining us today, and we are so glad to be seeing you. That's right. We're so glad you're watching us. Um, you could be now most of my material is meant for children that are foundations level. So if you are of like five and six and seven years old, this kind of is meant for you, but it could be for anybody. Maybe you have younger siblings. Maybe there's some of you that are one and two years old and you're hanging out and you're watching this with your older brother, older sister. Ooh, maybe you're older. Ooh, maybe you're a challenge age kid <laughs> or essentials. Maybe you're like, well, this stuff is for little kids, but I'll still watch. It. <laughs> Thanks very much. That's right. You could sing along right with your siblings and have a good time. All right. Um, we should, uh, we should sing another song. We're going to start out by singing uh, another song, especially to those of you that are here in the southern states. Um, you could feel a sense of certain sense of pride as you sing the song about the southern Appalachian Mountains. Can you name what they are? Do you remember what they are before we sing the song? Southern Appalachian Mountains. Let's see. Is it the Great Valley? Blue Ridge Mountains? Great Smoky Mountains? The Cumberland Gap? Mount Mitchell. <laughs> okay, let's sing it. Let's say Southern Appalachian Mountains. That's right. Southern Appalachian Mountains. The Great Valley, Blue Ridge Mountains, Great Smoky Mountains, Cumberland Mountains, Mount Mitchell. Yeah, Great Valley, Blue Ridge Mountains, Great Smoky Mountains, Cumberland Mountains, Mount Mitchell. Yeah, Southern Appalachian Mountains, Southern Appalachian Mountains, Great Valley, Blue Ridge Mountains, Great Smoky Mountains, Cumberland. the Southern Appalachian Mountains. Yes. <laughs> Good job if you sang along with that. Thank you very much. Listen, um, here in Florida, uh, we often like to travel up into the Southern Appalachian Mountains. It's kind of the closest mountain range for us here. And we certainly have had many great memories and uh, many camping trips up in those Southern Appalachian Mountains. Um, the Blue Ridge Mountains, absolutely beautiful. If you've never been there before, you should definitely visit, take a trip up there, or maybe you live up in that area, then you know how beautiful it is. Um, now, as I, you might have recalled last week, um, I was telling you all that I was going to be going on a camping trip. And um, well, we did. Uh, we just came back yesterday. We weren't in the mountains this time, though. This time, we went to, uh, we were actually camping um, on the beach. We were on, we were near the Gulf of Mexico in a place called Fort DeSoto. We had a really great time and uh, the weather cooperated. It was mostly like this. Uh, today is a, probably about 80 degrees. 
Um, and uh, but it got a little bit it got a little bit cooler when we were there. But the best part, probably, well, there are many great parts, but one of the greatest parts uh, was the full moon that came out. Um, now, since all of you live on planet Earth, <laughs> all of you had a full moon also to look at for the past few nights. And when we were out there camping, it was absolutely beautiful. When we went to sleep at night, we just had we didn't put the rain cover on the tent because there was going to be no rain. So we just stared. Uh, we just laid down, and you could stare up through the mesh. Uh, of the um, of the tent, and you could see the moonlight streaming through the tent and through the trees and the forest. It was really, really special. Very, very unique. In fact, we actually didn't do too much kayaking. No, usually we do. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, excuse me, hiking. We usually do hiking, but this time we did kayaking, which is a little bit different. We brought all of our kayaks, and um, we 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 got to go around and explore some of the areas uh, around the uh, Gulf of Mexico and in, in the Tampa Bay. Uh, area. In fact, um, now this is not my story. I would say this is more like my wife's and my son's uh, story. They were out there um, kayaking and and, uh, and an aquatic bird uh, called a, a cormorant uh, and ended up just following them. It, 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 they were out there uh, right as, as the sunrise was going on and it just, it flew into the water and it just followed them. It was so neat. Um, they actually did take some video of that. That's my wife's video. Maybe I can uh, post that on our social media uh, somewhere. You'll, you'll see that video pop up. Really, really neat. Um, but anyway, um, we, <laughs> we really enjoyed our, our, our camping trip. Maybe you guys like to camp too. Maybe you've done a lot of camping before. I bet you have. A lot of, seems like a lot of homeschool kids, we tended like all the same kinds of things. Good books, the great outdoors, right? I know you do. All right, let's see. So um, let's... Uh, I guess I'm going to sing another song. Now, I do have some other friends that are going to join us today. I do. But before they come, we're going to sing, uh, let's see, we're going to sing two more songs. This one we sang last time. This is a, a past participle. Now, I won't give you 10 seconds to, to come up with the answer like I do in the review questions, but do you know what a past participle is? Uh, a past participle is a verb plus ed used as an adjective or a verb. That's right. And here's a song about it. A past participle is a verb plus ed used as an adjective or a verb. A past participle is a verb plus ed used as an adjective or a verb? Good. Let's do it again, nice and quiet. Past participle is a verb plus ed. Used as an adjective or a verb. Good. Let's do it again. Past participle is a verb plus ed. Used as an adjective or a verb. Good. In case you hear any rustling noises with the leaves, that's actually a chicken that's behind me somewhere. I don't see it but I can hear it. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll sing them a song. Let's sing, this, let, let's, let's sing a song about the purposes of blood. Can you remember? What are the major purposes of blood? There are, uh, what are there? There's three of them, right? Or is there four? <laughs> there's four. Transportation, protection, communication, and regulation, right? There's four, four of them. Okay, well, here they are in a song. Do you remember this one? This one was a little bit rocking, but for right now, we're just going to keep it pretty down low, low key with our acoustic guitar. <laughs> What are the major purposes? 
traces of blood. Here are the major purposes of blood. Transportation protection, communication regulation, transportation protection, communication regulation, transportation protection, communication regulation. One more time. Transportation protection. you have been singing along at home great job to you if you have just been sitting on the couch and just thinking oh, this is entertaining well i invite you <laughs> to sing too and if you don't know what these songs are after we finish this live stream you can go back and watch some of those videos and remind yourself of the memory work songs now we're going to do another song um and uh but this one i'd like to have a special uh have a special guest <laughs> come on over here jackson all right Okay. All right. Now we are going to do this song called To Lie. Now, um, before we do that, of course, Jackson is playing his tin whistle. Now, I know some of you uh, play several different instruments, but I know most of you have to play the tin whistle um, for some of your, uh, uh, some of the CC uh, curriculum. So, um, so this is, so I like to use the tin whistle a lot in our music just so you can see what it looks like and uh, how, how it can sound in different ways. You don't just have to play Mary Had a Little Lamb or Yankee Doodle. Those are great too. But uh, you can use it in many other songs also, such as in this song, To Lie. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Uh... To lie, 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 slay, lying, lay. Good job. Um, excellent. You know what? You know what? I know. I know. Some of you guys are getting. You're getting tired of seeing. Uh, you're getting tired of seeing this old face, and you want to see, meet some other people. Guess what? Guess what, children? We did, first of all, yes, I'm tired of this old face too. How do you think I feel? I have to look in the mirror for so many decades of my life. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you're getting tired of hearing me talk, why don't we meet some of our other friends? Excuse me while I go find them. Pardon me for one second. Let's see. Ooh. Hey, Jimmy, come on over here. Hey, we're live streaming. Come on over. What? Hey, live streaming? What does that mean? What? what? Hey. Hey there. It's me, Jimmy. Wow. You People can see me? Wow. Hey, that's neat. Well, hello and welcome to Florida. That's right. Look at behind me. Yeah, see, it's nice and green here. What's it like where you live? Yeah, is it uh, is it cold? Hey, hi, Jackson, get back there. Wow, he's quick. Is it really cold and snowing where you are? Well, it's not here. It's actually kind of hot today. Huh? Yeah, it really is. Anyway, um, well, I was going to sing about the Southern Appalachian Mountains, since that's my song that I sang in the video. But Mr. Tom already sang it. How could he do that to me? Mr. Tom, where'd you go? You sang my song. I'm going to have to sing another song. Uh, oh, I know, I know, I know. Um, I know. Um, I like to ask people about what books they read. Uh, as a matter of fact, boys and girls, what books have you read lately? Hmm? I bet you've read some today. 
Uh, I think Mr. Tom is going to tell you about a pretty great, pretty great book pretty soon. Um, but maybe I could sing about, let's see, to read? No, to talk? What could I? Oh, I know. To write. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, it's a little calm. Uh, maybe you could sing along with me, kids. It goes like this. To write, 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 write. Wait, no. How does that go? To, oh, I can't remember. Hey, Grandpa, can you help me with that song? Well, he'll help me with that song soon. Maybe you remember. To write? Ha, anyway. Ah, never mind my joke. Anyway, here, how about I read you a piece of poetry? Yeah? Now, this piece of poetry is from Poor Richard's Almanac. Mm-hmm. Poor Richard's Almanac was compiled by none other than Ben Franklin. Perhaps you've heard of him before. Perhaps you have a $100 bill and you've seen his portrait. Mm -hmm. How would you like to give me that $100 bill? Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, that's another joke right there. Mm -hmm. I like to tell jokes. And actually, Grandpa has a lot of jokes. You should hear his instead. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to read you this poetry that is from Poor Richard's Almanac. It's none of these things were written by Ben Franklin. Maybe some of them were, but he was an editor, of course, as you know. So he compiled a lot of writing over the years. Listen to this one. Tomorrow, you'll reform. You always cry. In what far country does this morrow lie? That tis so mighty, long ere it arrive? Beyond the Indies, does this morrow live? Tis so far stretched, this morrow, that I fear. Twill be both very old and very dear. Basically, that poem is about how you keep putting things off. Mm -hmm. Some people say, oh, someday I'll get to that. And they never do. I'll put it off for tomorrow. Well, that's what Ben Franklin was talking about in that poetry. We always tell you to make sure you're reading good books. So without further ado, let me go find Grandpa and he can talk to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. Hey, Grandpa. Yeah. Hey, Grandpa. Everybody wants to see you. They do? What do they want to see me about? I, they just want to hear you. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Hmm. Well, hey. Hi there, boys and girls. Hey, it's me, Grandpa. Yeah. I have a lot of things to do today, but uh, I guess I can talk to you for a minute. Yeah. Wow. A live stream. Hey, this is neat. You know the, the technology around here? Hmm. Really something. Yeah. Where are you watching me from? Are you somewhere where it's cold and snowy? Maybe windy and rainy? Well, not here. As you can see, it's hot and sunny. Anyway, uh, uh, let's see. Jimmy, he already read a great poem. But uh, I guess you know what I'll do? I will uh, I'll tell you a joke. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like to tell jokes. Okay, now, boys and girls, here's a great joke. Now, the next time that you... Uh, okay, the next time your dad and your mom... They open up the refrigerator, you know, to get something out. You quickly run forwards and you close the door quickly and you tell them, Mom or Dad, don't you dare open that refrigerator without knocking first. And of course, they'll look at you confused and say, why? And then you say that to them, because there could be a salad dressing in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. You get it? Salad dressing. You put it on dressing. It's not really a salad dressing. Uh, anyway, isn't that a neat little joke? Well, you can use that on your mom or dad or maybe on another sibling that doesn't know the joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like to use that one around here. Maybe too much. Anyway, uh, oh, do you want to sing a song? I guess since I'm here, I don't have a guitar my size. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll sing my song about To Do. Yeah, you remember that one? How many of you here remember that song? Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, let's see. Hey, Ruben. Come on over here. I know you. Yeah, hey. I don't have a guitar. Do you have a guitar on you? No. Okay. Do you have like a flute on you, like your brother? A bagpipes? Ah! A xylophone? No. A tambourine? Okay, no. oh, you have your hands, right? Ah, uh, yes, you do have hands. Good. Uh, Maybe you could like snap your fingers. Okay. I'll sing about to do. Just lay me down a beat. Snap. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's jazzy. Okay, go ahead. Lay down the beat. Keep going. Keep going. To do, to do, do de do, to do, to do, do de do, to do, do does, did doing done, to do, do does, did doing done, to do, do does, did doing done, to do, to do.
do de do again to do do does did doing done to do do does did doing done to do do does did doing done to do to do do de do to do to do do de do yeah thanks Ruben for your help that was really jazzy mm -hmm. yeah and we really got things done didn't we yes we did oh that reminds me I've got things to do. So I gotta go. Well, goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye, Ruben. Bye. Hey, Mr. Tom. Go back to your show. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, hey, everyone. It's me. I'm back. <laughs> yes, I had to go check on the chickens for a minute. But anyway, I'm glad you talked to Jimmy. I'm glad you talked to Grandpa. I'm glad you got to hear fluting and hand snapping. <laughs> Before we go any further, I want to give you a little commercial. Sorry, yes, boys and girls, you can't skip this one. It's, it's we'll, we'll make it really quick. Um, how many of you have a Yodo player? Looks just like this, right? Yeah, it's a nice little uh, cube shape. Anyway, you can listen to your books. My kids, they listen to, um, here's the, this is the Phantom Tollbooth. Um, Henry Huggins, they listen to a lot of these. They're Beverly Clearly books. Um, anyway, it's like an audio book. You just kind of pop it in and it tells the story. You can listen on headphones. Um, it's just a nice alternative sometimes to, and it makes it easy and, and understandable for children. They can adjust the volume or the other channels here. Um, you can also, now I'm not paid by Yodo <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's just something we use in our home. Um, but what we do have on our channel is that um, you can get blank cards from Yodo and then you can go to our website and download, um, download our music and put it on a Yodo card. You can also download a cover too, but you don't have to do that, but it makes it very simple. You just pop it in. Three parts of the nervous system. Three parts of the nervous I know this song. Do you know this song too? <laughs> very, very simple, very simple. All you got to do is just, again, you just go to our website, go to homevideovarietyshow.com, and you download uh, uh, download the music there. It's for purchase, either individual songs, if you just have a handful that are your favorite that you want to use as a tutor or as a, as a parent, um, or, if, uh, or you want to download the whole album for geography, science, or English. Um, anyway, and then uh, then you'll get uh, MP3s for everything, and then you upload those MP3s onto one of these blank Yodo cards, and then you're ready to go. And then your kid can walk around the house singing. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of that commercial. Also, now, also want to say for those of you boys and girls that would actually like to write us letters, um, you can do that also. Um, I would just not, let's see, I'll start out. I'm going to give you our, our mailing address. I'm also going to include it later on down in the, uh, in, in the description of this video, but, um, our mailing address for the home video variety show is P O box five, two, zero, nine, seven, one. That's P O box five, two, zero, nine, seven, one in Longwood, Florida, three, two, seven, five, zero. Again, that address will be in the description, but if you would ever to like to write us letters, we did some in the past before where we asked people to draw pictures and ask people that for things that we used in our geography videos. So maybe you have written to us before. Maybe uh, like, like our friend here, uh, she made a picture of Jimmy. Uh, if um, This is a great picture. Um, but you can, you can draw us pictures that we will, that will feature on the show. Um, but if you would like to write to us and tell us about a favorite book or maybe a book that you want everybody else to know about, or maybe you have a... Um, Maybe you have uh, a question. Yeah, maybe you have a question for for me, uh, or maybe you have a question for any of our any of our friends that are on this show. Please write to us now. Of course, we could always say, you know, why don't you, uh, you know, send an email or or write something electronically. Yes, yes, yes. Um, those are things you could do. But for you children, I want to make sure you're working on your penmanship. I want to make sure that you're learning the tactile skill of writing and working on your handwriting um, and really thinking about your writing comprehension as you go forwards in your education. So I encourage you children, <laughs> there's nothing more wonderful and charming than writing a letter and receiving a letter too. Those are a lot of fun. So I want you to work on that skill. But if, you, but if you'd like to ask us questions on our show, please write to us, write to that address. I'll leave it right down in the description. Um, and now before we finish out with one more song, um, I would like to tell you about a book. Let's adjust that real quick. All right. This. Um, now, let's see. The last, the, now, the, this is different than the last book we learned about. This is a book called Mr. Putter and Tabby Pick the Pears. Have any of you ever read this book before? Or maybe you've read some of the series about Mr. Putter and Tabby. 
There is a lot of books in this series, and they are absolutely delightful. Um, it's by Cynthia Ryland, and pictures are by Arthur Howard. Now, we first picked up this book in one of those little local libraries. Ever in your, If you ever see them in your neighborhood, it looks like a box that's just, you know, uh, just somewhere on a, on a random part of the street. And you can go in there and you pick a free book, a book, or you can donate books as well. Um, this one we first found at a, at a free library like that. And uh, we absolutely loved it. Um, it's a charming little story um, about Mr. Putter, who is, he was older. And uh, he looks up and he sees pears growing in the fall. And he dreams about uh, having pear jelly and all the delicious things he could eat. So he has to, uh, he has to climb up the tree. But he's feeling kind of old to climb up the tree. So he has to invent a way to get the pears out of the tree. Anyway, I will let you go to the library and check out this book, and then you can find out to whether he got the pears out of the tree or not. And uh, it is a really great story. In fact, any of them by Mr. Putter, any of these, Mr. Putter and Tabby uh, are, are just, they're all a great, they're all great stories, but pick the pears. This one's my favorite. This one's my favorite. We actually, this one's not from the library. We actually particularly own this one. And, uh, but again, you go to your local library and you look for Mr. Putter and Tabby books. Um, the author is Cynthia Ryland. I will include that information down in the description of this video as well. Our time is just about up. I've gone a little bit longer today. Um, so we're going to finish with uh, one more song, okay? Let's see. Now, this one I know some of you guys are working on even this week itself. It's our science song. And uh, do you know what is the atomic number? Do you know? <laughs> yes, I think maybe some of you are already singing it. What is the... That's right. Uh, whoop, let's not lose that pick. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, it's here. Yeah, that's the song. What is the atomic number? Whoop, wait, wait, wait. I'm about to lose the microphone here. I think it's falling. All right, I think we got it. Some of the trials of being outside here and live streaming. Okay. You remember what the atomic number is? The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. That's right. Which is also the number of electrons in a neutral atom. Yeah, it is. The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Good. Which is also the number of electrons in a neutral atom. What is the atomic number? What is the atomic number? Symphony. The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Which is also the number of electrons in a neutral atom. One more time. The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Which is also the number of electrons in a neutral atom. Sing it together. Well done. Well, our time is up here together. I enjoy, I'm glad that we've had the past oh, about 30 minutes together. Um, you can get a view of what it looks like here in Florida today on a beautiful Friday afternoon. I hope you guys are also having a very delightful day. I hope, uh, you know, you're learning things. I hope you enjoy this, this, uh, this little time that we've had together. Um, but I don't want to just tell you like, oh, I hope you had fun because that's all that matters. Definitely not. There's more important things to life than just having fun. So each and every day, I hope you enjoy your time. But I hope that you are learning and growing. Um, I hope that you are um, taking care of your siblings. I hope you are obeying your mom and dad. I hope you are honoring the Lord with all your heart and your soul and your mind and your strength. Um, but you guys take care. And we will be back next week, 1 o'clock, about this time, doing the same thing, talking about books, singing songs together. You can meet some more of my friends. And uh, maybe we'll be reading some letters from you. All right. You guys take care. And we'll see you again.